Hey guys, it's The Doll Place, and Blair Wilson's entire collection has just been released, and today we are going to be sharing our opinions on her and her collection. Starting with the doll herself, I have a lot of mixed emotions about her. Here is a picture of her. And while I definitely think she really is an adorable doll, she's not something I haven't seen before. She looks a lot like a lot of Truly Me's, like the one they made to look like Sage, like they do after each girl of the year. And she kind of looks like Rebecca. And I think that the host of Fina Mold is just way too overused. And I think that American Girl should have created a new face mold or even just used one they haven't used in a while. Especially when you have a doll collection as big as ours with, with 13 dolls. You definitely want dolls that are very unique looking and would stand out in your collection. And to be perfectly honest, Blair would fall somewhere in the middle and just kind of go invisible. Her story, however, I think is very creative. I think that with all the dancers and such that the Girl of the Years have been for the past couple of years, that a party planner or wedding planner was pretty creative. And I think that part of her is very unique. So we'll definitely not be purchasing Blair just because we have seen this doll before and she definitely would be sort of invisible within our collection because we have so many dolls that look sort of similar to her. Now we're going to be looking at her collection, starting with her meat outfit. Now here is an image of it. Overall, I think that it is a cute meat outfit. It's a little bit plain, but that's kind of what meat outfits are supposed to be like. And I mean, I think it's pretty cute. Blue dress. Next is this blue high-low dress, which you can see here. And I really like this dress. It might be one of my favorite outfits from her collection. I honestly think that this is an adorable dress that I would definitely purchase. Next is this double bow pink dress outfit thing. I don't know if this is, I don't think this is her pajamas, so I don't really know what exactly this is, but I am not a fan of this at all. I, I think it's pretty ugly. I don't know. It just, it's definitely not natural. You definitely, like, try to imagine that dress on a normal everyday human because I just can't see it. It looks very costumey, very clowny to me, so I don't know what they were going for with that, but it definitely missed the target for me. And I just don't think that color looks good on her at all. Next is this overall set. And I think that this is absolutely adorable. I could totally see any of our dolls wearing this. I love the little ladybug and it is just so cute. It also gets me really curious what the whole farming thing is about with the farm animals and the overalls. I'm a little confused about that, but I'm very intrigued about her overall story. I think it's very unique. Next is her pajama set. I think that that's what this is going to be, as you can see here. And to be perfectly honest, this is pretty basic. American Girl has released pajama sets for their Girl of the Years again and again that are just like a t-shirt and shorts. And it's nothing new this year. It's just a plain t-shirt and shorts. So it's cute, but just really, really plain. Next is this little like gazebo cake thingy. To be honest, when I first saw this, I was a little confused because I'm like, where's the bride and groom? Um, so I definitely don't know why they would make this a set, and knowing American Girl, this will probably be, probably be a bit on the pricey side of things, and I just don't think it's worth it for two really basic items, a cake and a gazebo. Honestly, I feel like this set should have included more, and it's just not really that pretty. I don't really like the colors, and I think it's kind of ugly. Like, I couldn't see a real wedding like this. It's kind of boring. Next is this party planning set, and this includes a lot of things. And I definitely think this would be worth your money. It seems really detailed and has a lot of intricate little pieces and I definitely think it's really cute. Next is this gardening set. Which is really cute and adorable. I love the color scheme overall with Blair's collection and especially you can see that in the floral garden of this set. Um, but honestly, what even is that 
animal I'm seeing here. Like, it, I feel like it's like a sheep, but then it, I, when you look at it, it's got like a beak. So, like, I don't know. It kind of vaguely looks like a monkey. So, if you guys have any idea what's going on with this white fuzzball on the corner, please let us know because we are very confused and a little bit disturbed. Next is this gardening outfit, which is super cute. Out of all of Blair's accessory sets, this is definitely the one that I think would we would most likely be purchasing, just because I just love the colors on it and the hat is just so adorable, and I could definitely see our dolls wearing these pieces and using them. Last is this little pig here. Reminds me of this pig definitely reminds me of Pua from Alana. And I think that she is super cute, he or she, I don't really know. It's a girl or a boy. And I definitely think this little pig is going to be a really big seller. I don't know if this is her pet or what, but I guess we will see. And again, that just makes me really intrigued with the whole farming um, storyline or plotline that's going on with Blair because I've never seen anything like that with a girl of the year. So overall, I think that Blair's look is nothing new and I was expecting like more creativity from American Girl. I was expecting new face molds or just some completely different look, something new to the table. And I feel like we just got like a repeat of a bunch of dolls we've seen before. So no, we will not be purchasing Blair, but I could definitely see why someone would want to include her in her collection, especially someone a little bit newer to American Girl or who doesn't have that big of a collection. I think she is a beautiful doll and could fit into someone's collection, just not ours. These are our opinions and we hope you guys do not get your feelings hurt or anything like that. Everyone has their own opinion and I think that she is a beautiful doll and would work in some of your guys' collections. I was just really disappointed for us because we have so many dolls and we were really excited to see something new and exciting from American Girl and Blair just wasn't that. Honestly, I wasn't really expecting anything new from American Girl. I was more hoping for it. Exactly. And I think that her collection actually is really cute. There are some really adorable things in there, like that blue dress and the overalls, but there's also some things that I'm not a big fan of, like that pink outfit and her pajamas. So, so overall, I definitely think that we will be picking up a few items from her collection, like the dress and overalls, but we'll be ignoring some of these misses from American Girl. So let us know in the comment down below if you are going to purchase Blair Wilson and why or why not. We definitely want to hear your opinions, whether you love her or hate her, we want to hear them. So let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!